Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Laura. We do not consent to any reptilian or archon entities. We do not consent to you. This is Ghostbuster spray. If you're interested in what I'm spraying to cleanse this energy today. Okay, so we just are coming out of this eclipse portal. Second eclipse portal. There's been two back to back. This one felt mild to me. That's why I'm a couple days behind posting. I also had some personal things going on. I couldn't, I couldn't get on to make a video. Okay. So it seems like this is an emotional purge. This is an emotional portal primarily. And it also feels like it's a drawing a line in the sand is what I'm getting so that we are not going to be really interacting or even feel that we are in the wrong timeline so there is a very strong barrier between your energy and your frequency vibration as an ascended person an ascended human and then there is the third dimension earth that is still happening that is still some people's realities but it is not our reality and if you have to go back and forth and if you have to be in between, there is a very strong awareness now of what the difference is and how you are, you are, your cells, what I'm seeing is your cells actually are being realigned and rearranged so that you are going to magnetically fit where you're meant to be. Let's get an energy card here. Okay. Envy and contract and all tied up. Someone is being pulled and held here in the wrong timeline you don't belong in that timeline it feels like i'm hearing times up but for some reason here you are not allowed to leave it's like someone has kidnapped i feel like it's about the divine masculine energy primarily divine masculines that are meant to be on the ascension timeline and they have been quite literally kidnapped and tied up in the wrong earth here and it's like, this is your gatekeeper, matrix gatekeeper energy that's keeping you past the time of your contract. The contracts have expired. They've actually been expired for quite some time. And it feels like there have been loopholes here where for some reason, these entities that are spell casting, that are keeping you in the wrong earth, it's, a, it's an issue here. This is what we're up against. And the divine feminine that is on the other timeline is feeling this spiritually and energetically. They're feeling this. Uh, it's like the masculine struggling to get loose. The masculine is uh, trying to do covert methods of communication is also what I'm getting through signs and synchronicities and through downloaded visions and thoughts. And so it feels like we have to really know how covert these operations are and how covert it is when you are in spiritual warfare between dimensions okay the thinking woman is on the bottom of the deck this feels like the jezebel entities energy to me because they've been coming through with the downloads about their tactics which i have known for quite some time and not actually been given the okay by my guides to speak on this energy until this uh, today the eclipse portal and the last few videos have mentioned them we call them sirens we call them uh, reptilian we call them different things but the feeling here is their mission is to keep you stuck archangel michael is grounded to the earth here archangel michael is the masculine energy that is here to protect and guard the divine feminine and it's like there's this other uh, very uh, plotting, very deceptive type of, she looks very innocent here, but I have a feeling, because I'll clarify this with tarot, uh, it is not what it appears to be. And so this innocent um, person is actually turning, her face is actually turning, shape-shifting right in my face, right in my eyes. It's like for the masculine there, actually, he's looking right at her and seeing her true form. Let's actually get a tarot card on this now while we're looking into it uh where's my tarot deck okay so it feels like divine masculine 
who is being represented by Archangel Michael is actually being pulled by their root chakra. So to me, this first chakra, the root chakra energy is your community, it's your tribe, it's your inner circle, it's your family, it's your uh, place where you live, your city, your town. And it feels like here, this person is trying to cut loose from the tribe, trying to cut loose and they're tied up. Okay. Let's clarify the thinking woman. <laughs> it just fell out in reverse. Okay. I <laughs> don't make this up. Queen of Swords fell out in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse is an unhinged energy. And it's actually a very, um, someone that has mental problems, someone who is likely, uh, I, uh, let's get one more. Okay. It's not, it's actually, it's like an evil, um, <laughs> it's like an evil fairy tale, evil stepmother type of energy when Queen of Swords comes out in reverse. Six of Swords. Someone you've tried to get away from repeatedly. I'm also getting Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Right. Someone who's taking your light from you, the sun and the five of swords here. It's someone that feels like they're doing mental sabotage. They're playing a lot of games with you mentally. And they're also taking a lot of the spotlight for themselves. This is someone who's drunk on their own power that feels like everything has gone to their head and that they're actually being really messy and sloppy is also what I'm getting. This is a person that's lost their edge and they've actually kind of feels like they know that they've been seen. And so now they kind of have no holds barred and they're letting it all hang out and they could look, um, this is someone that's, that is kind of doing anything and everything. So the covert tactics have actually changed to being very obvious and very, um, uh, uh, very, you cannot hide them. <laughs> so this would be someone wearing their tactics right on their sleeve. And it's kind of like, it's kind of, I would say, and I'm just getting this to say, it's someone that belongs in an asylum. It's someone that needs to go for a rest, a very long rest in an asylum because they are unhinged here. This is someone that's really, uh, I feel like with the sun, this is someone that you would look at that's skipping around that feels like they are um, possibly even their entire personalities have are, are, are all shifting. It's like they're going through all these different personalities are trying on different personas and they're leaving the divine masculine kind of like this this is a very um accurate interpretation of the masculine this just seems like how do i get free how do i break free of this how can i get away from this because it's kind of like they also pop up at every turn i'm getting stalker energy as well here this is someone that feels like you try to escape you try to move towards the light and to the higher timeline and they're right there and it's kind of very strange and weird and it's uh this, this is the kind of energy of someone that you ten of swords you've got to walk away from you have to in some way find the strength and find the um reinforcement in yourself to get away from them here okay so that message just really needed to come through first today sun is also on the bottom of the deck here so we have the sun twice which is masculine energy which is also telling me that your masculine power is rising and your king power is wanting to come out to the surface to be revealed. You're the one that's meant to rise, not them. You're the one that's meant to be seen, not them. They uh, have been trying to block your light. Okay. Let's get a star seed card. I just want to, I might have to spray again because these messages are, these messages are very, um, they're getting more and more wild as we get more light on this earth because this is the type of energy that used to be able to hide in the shadows and it can no longer hide in the shadows. And so now it's out on the surface for everyone to see and it looks a hot mess and it looks deranged and it looks crazy. Okay. Okay. This could be someone's wife. This could be someone's partner. And also it's not gender specific. So it could be someone's husband. If it's, it's a deranged feminine energy, but it could be in a male body it's because they have inverted the masculine and feminine energies. And so if it's not a Jezebel feminine, it's a Jezebel masculine. Okay. You're not for everyone. 
the cosmic heart. So, right, this is saying face your true north and embrace your weirdness. And the cosmic heart is about what you are truly devoted to and uh, where it feels that you are vulnerable and loved and safe and you let your walls down and your guard down here because this is the energy of the age of Aquarius. This is the energy that builds and creates the new earth. And it's about when you're with your divine counterpart, there is a heart opening that occurs, especially when you are intimate. Whenever you are sensual, sexually intimate, and you don't even have to be in the physical, it's a energetic exchange that opens your heart. And it's very immediate between divine counterparts because they match you fully in your home vibration, your true north. They match you in every way. Magnetically, it's like all your cells start to light up. And especially for masculine energy, when you undergo a heart chakra activation on this level, you start to feel the most deep magical energy that is possible for you to start to shine your light. This matches to me the way that they are standing here and it's just a feeling of total heart opening vulnerability and being fully seen as well and it seems like it's just doubling down on the message for the masculine that you're not for everyone meaning you're not for the tribe and the ones that are holding you in the wrong timeline you're not for the ones holding you in the matrix you're for the new earth so when you're facing your true north i'm getting you're facing your the stars, you're facing your true home and your truth of your galactic energy. Okay. And that will always match with your true divine counterpart as well. And not someone that's deranged and unhinged. Okay. And out for themselves. Let's get an animal card for this message. Okay. With the envy energy, I am getting that the masculine is likely shining their light in some way. And it could be, this is not for everyone, but this it's funny, the card, and you're not for everyone. But this message might not be for everyone watching. I'm just getting for some of you though, the masculine could be shining their light in a particular way in the matrix that is causing this Jezebel to be very envious as well, because it's like you naturally have. So this is, okay. They are very jealous of anyone who holds a natural light, a natural it factor, a natural way of being that just captures people's attention because that is what they want to possess. That's what they want to shine. And they fundamentally will never be able to do that because they're not templated with that energy. And so they have to resort to these low vibration manipulation tactics to try to shine light. And none of it's going to work in the Aquarian age but they have attracted masculines that have this light naturally. And so it's kind of like, okay, this is an example. It feels like it's a uh, musician who maybe they are doing a sellout show and a concert and they're getting a lot of attention and they're getting a lot of um, eyes on them. And this person also sings and they, uh, the masculine has been helping them try to maybe start a little amateur singing career on the side, but they don't really have any talent and they don't really have an it factor. And it's kind of just because they feel sorry for this person because they are kind of a victim and traumatized and they remind them of a traumatized version of themselves. Because what I get is a lot of times these energies match your trauma and pain in the matrix, but they don't match your higher self. So when you're in your higher self, they can't meet you there. And I feel like a lot of masculines are in their higher self in the matrix right now. And it's making this energy feel like they're losing their grip on the masculine because they, even though the masculine ultimately is meant to shine in the new earth, meant to embody new galactic codes in the new earth, a lot of the masculines are very successful in false light in the false matrix. And that is the only thing that makes any uh, that makes this person feel anything is the false matrix because they they have no idea what the new earth is. They don't know what it is. They just know what the matrix is. I hope that all made sense. Okay, let's get an animal card. 
So it's like the masculine is rising anyway, even if it's in the false light matrix and it's making this person jealous. Okay. And it could be that they had some article written about them. It could be that they got a promotion at work. It could be any number of things, but it's something that's made this person uh, cling to them even harder and have new tactics to resort to and have to kind of up their game. But as they've had to do that, it's gotten more messy and sloppy. The otter. Okay. And the bear. Yeah, it's like, interesting. So it's like the masculine here was in hermit mode and now they're coming out of hermit mode. So the bear to me is the one that's permitting that is in isolation and now it feels the otter is actually my favorite animal in this deck let's read about the otter the otter is very playful and fun and light-hearted energy and it's like um this person thought they could keep you locked away forever and now you're wandering free and that's the energy here and then we have the unicorn on the bottom of the deck because a unicorn is divine feminine energy that's uh, kind of more, it looks like the otter is looking over here at the unicorn and the bear is staying uh, in the cave. Okay. Because this envy energy is also a cave. And it's like this person to me, this, this sabotage does their best work, you could say, because their mission is to keep you from yours. Their mission is to keep you to, from shining your light at all costs. They don't want you to shine your light in the matrix. They don't. They certainly don't want you to cross timelines and come into the ascension timeline where they will never be able to reach you. If you reach your unicorn here as a masculine, if you come to your divine feminine, they will never reach you again. That's game over for them. So their mission to keep you from your twin flame, to keep you from your counterpart is priority number one for these entities. And your counterpart, the unicorn, is in the higher timeline. And so that's a kind of, it's like a race to get to the higher timeline. Let's see what it says about the otter. This is an interesting, kind of wild reading, but I like it. Okay. Because we all know how it's going to end. I feel like that's very obvious here. Okay. Where is the otter? It's evading me. Okay, well, I may have to find it the old fashioned way and actually look it up in the index here. Okay. It feels like, I feel like maybe we already got the message from this. But, uh, right, it's kind of like if you come out into the light of day, they cannot reach you. What does it say about the bear? Waking from spiritual slumber. Maybe we're meant to read the bear. Because we know that masculine energy has been under spells. So they're waking from spiritual slumber and beginning anew. The bear knows it's time to awaken and move toward the dawning light. The bear card represents an individual on the cusp of new directions and personal transformation. The initial weeks and months of this spiritual guest, spiritual quest may feel tricky, cumbersome, and full of obstacles, but you have no choice, bear. Winter wanes, the warmth of spring emerges, and your transformation begins. So it's kind of like forces bigger than the masculine, forces bigger than the one that's been asleep are shaking you awake. And it's kind of like you wake up and uh, kind of find yourself in hell, but have to kind of find your way through and find your way out. <laughs> okay. I feel like you didn't know how deep you were buried in a situation and now it's dawning on you how deep you're buried in this um, wrong timeline. Okay. The otter, it's contentment. 
and playfulness. I think I said that. Perhaps the most joyful creature within the animal spirit deck. The otter represents absolute bliss. Otter energy is the playfulness of a child available to us at any age. They have a giddiness and reverence for life itself without the presence of doubt, worry, or skepticism. Imagine yourself with a little more otter energy. What would life look like? What would it take to bring you there? The otter card begs these questions and wants to transport us to that precious place as soon as possible. The celebration awaits. Yeah, because there's celebration when you get to the higher timeline to your unicorn here. And a unicorn is a spiritual energy as well. I'm not going to read it because we did too much, too much reading. But this is you actually reaching spiritual culmination of what is dawning at this time. So this is the ultimate goal here. And it's kind of a process that feels like you're going through the steps of the process here. Let's get uh, Keepers of the Light to leave you with. See who's guiding us through this. I would say as well that since we're getting the message that the contract is severed here and you have Archangel Michael's sword you can cut yourself free with, this is just a message for anyone watching who is afraid that this person may harm themselves, is afraid that this person may do something because they're threatening that, because that's a Queen of Swords in reverse type of thing to do. And it's like, know that that is not real, that they, okay, and I, I had to be careful with what I say here, because eh, you are not responsible for anyone else's actions here. And so a lot of this is very dark energy. And I feel like I'm trying to make light of it, but we're not going to understate or sweep under the rug how much this person needs some help. And whatever they've said or done to try to keep you to stay is not right. Okay, so there you are not responsible for anyone else. That's what I what I want to say. The only thing you're responsible for is cutting yourself loose and freeing yourself from this energy so that you can be free and happy. Okay. And they have their own karma that you, by you staying, I'm also getting too long in a situation for this type of type of energy. You stay too long. You're actually getting in the way of the karma that wants to come in for them. Okay. Kali. Kali has been unleashed with this eclipse. I knew she was going to come in. I had a feeling because it's facing fears and it's the embodying the, uh, the dark feminine, the goddess feminine energy. And I feel like I have not been guided to speak on this energy until right now with the assistance of Kali because it could be very inverted and misinterpreted that the ones who are calling it out are the ones that are actually this energy when we're, we're not, we're calling it out. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. It's a repeating message about the spiritual activations that are happening for masculine energy. I had a headache all day yesterday. This video was supposed to come out yesterday and I couldn't do it because I had such a migraine. I feel like the crown chakra energy, because we've had this coronation event that's happening. The crown chakra energies for all the kings and queens, the true divine kings and queens are activated. And for the imposters, they're falling apart. So Kali is here as the dark feminine energy that's shining a light on the imposters, that's shining a light on the mayhem and the inversions. Okay. And Kali does not play. Okay. I feel like that's the message today. Uh, this is your chance to soar. So it's really about there's nothing to be afraid of on the other side of this when you cut yourself free of this person, of this community, of this false light. You are going to soar and you're going to fly and you're going to be amazed at what you're going to step into. Because I have a feeling a lot of you that are blasting towards your culmination of spiritual enlightenment here and the next level of ascension energy and where you're truly meant to shine and no one else can do that but you you are the one you are called and chosen and you are here because we volunteered to be here 
through this ascension, we had to go through the false light first. We had to go through all of these tests and challenges first because in past timelines and especially in the fall of Atlantis, a lot of masculines fell for false light. A lot of you have made this choice and, and, and been separated from your true counterpart, been separated from your true mission, been separated from God's source for a very long time. And now is the time that you get to make a totally new opportunity, totally different choice, led by your open heart chakra, led by love and led by truth because your crowns are open. Little shaman card here. It's a lot of shamanic energy. We're talking so much about the awakening, spirituality, and these tactics. Okay. Magic. I love it. it is great. Embrace your magic power that is awaiting you when you jump through into the golden new earth. It's a feeling of magic and all your superpowers are going to come back on. All of your psychic abilities are going to start to strengthen. And it's the unification process between the masculine and feminine energy that when you are united together, it's magical. So what the forces that used to be, powers that used to be are so afraid of are the kings and queens coming back together because that's how magical you are. And you're going to know it when you come back together and you already feel it when you're with your counterpart. It's just the sense of magic that's undescribable unless you've actually lived through it and witnessed it and felt the energy between you. Okay. I am sending you all much peace and light. Take care, everyone.